asking this question precisely because you have not provided the answer. And uh, we are not going to leave here before we get an answer. <laughs> is, when, when are you paying the money? Because the public protector has instructed you that you must pay the Point money. Of order, Chair. And we want by the honorable member there are going to be dealt with by the ad hoc committee appointed by this one. Opportunity to respond to the supplementary question of Honorable Malema. I've res all right, welcome back to Morning Live. Certainly, Parliament has been had a lot of spotlight put on it in recent times. And the ANC NEC has voiced its concern over developments in Pali. The recent heated exchanges in the National Assembly, specifically between the EFF, President Jacob Zuma, and Deputy President Sol Ramaphosa, as well as the Speaker of the House, Belek Mbete. The ANC believes the opposition parties have the obvious intention to humiliate and embarrass the President and the Deputy President whenever they appear in the House or the National Assembly. Joining us now to chat a little bit more about this is ANC Chief Whip in Parliament, Stone Cezanne from our Port Elizabeth studios. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, good morning. Do you feel that, that it's now essential to restore the decorum in Parliament? I, I can't hear the, I can't hear you. All right, so it sounds like we may have a little bit of a problem. I do hope that you can hear us now. Obviously, the decorum and the formalities in Parliament is something that a lot of people have been discussing. Do you feel it's now essential to try and restore the dignity in Parliament? Yeah, so of course, uh, Parliament is a, is a national institution which the nation is expecting to serve them by making uh, constitutionally... Uh, valid laws and uh, to make sure that uh, we hold their cabinet into account and for them to serve the nation properly. And uh, Parliament is a place where people look up to for the resolution of their problems and making sure that uh, there's peace and harmony in the country. Yes, it is important that uh, people look at us as members of Parliament as people who would be able to serve them not people who would be mocking them. How do you intend on restoring that dignity and decorum in Pali? Well, Parliament has got rules. And uh, unfortunately, when the Parliament was established in 1994, those rules were made for people who are seen and understood to have been people who are willing to subject themselves to those rules. They, they never expected members of parliament who would uh, ignore the rules and defy the instructions of the presiding officers. They never expected that uh, when you say uh, leave the chamber, those members would not be honorable and leave the chamber. They now have to make sure that the rules that we create in parliament are also for situations where People toy toy inside the chamber, people insult uh, other honorable members, people uh, defy the presiding officers. We have to strengthen those rules. There is already a rules committee that um, is, is geared at changing the rules and make sure that there's uh, peace in the house so that people look at what you argue politically rather than who you are and how you say what you say. You speak about rules and better enforcement of those rules, but will stricter rules and constraints not hamper robust discussion inside national parliament? Well, no honourable member who wants to put his point of order across to other political uh, uh, MPs that are sitting in the House would be restricted by any rule. It doesn't matter how strong or strict the rule is because Parliament is supposed to enable us to represent the constituencies. Parliament uh, expects us to represent the point of view of the political parties that we represent. Parliament expects us to behave in a manner that is civil towards each other, that is respectful towards uh, uh, each other and the elders there. It does not restrict anybody. But if you go beyond the rules, the, or beyond the bounds of the rules, of course, the rules must restrict you. Do you believe some of the questions being asked by the EFF 
are aimed at showing the Deputy President and President Jacob Zuma in a negative light? Well, anybody who has read the report of the public protector would know that the public protector has asked the president to respond to the questions raised in that report. One of the fundamental questions raised by the public protector is, uh, is the fact that uh, the president must pay a reasonable amount that may have been uh, uh, given to him via the institutions or buildings that were provided there. But it does not say how much. And the expectation, therefore, is that the ad hoc committee and all other structures that have been created by parliament are intended to work out exactly what the validity of those questions are. Before that, there is no reasonable expectation that the president would know what is expected of him. And, and that is why the public protector asked the treasury to help the president to come to that determination. Before that, how do you expect the president will be able to know how much he would have to pay? So anybody who's asking that question is clearly provocative, clearly trying to embarrass him and trying to humiliate him because you are prejudging the question. Chief, do you think some of the parties maybe have a point and that their intention is or was not to actually humiliate or embarrass the leaders? Well, anybody who's asking a reasonable question based on that report is expected to, to be answered. But anybody who's, who's trying to create, for instance, uh, Honorable Malema is saying, we will not leave here until you tell us when you are going to pay the money. How can the president know how, when and how much he will have to pay? You yourself, if you, do not, if you have not been given an invoice by any of your creditors, you wouldn't know how much you have to pay until you receive that invoice. How is the president expected to know before he has been even given any invoice by anybody? When is he expected to receive an invoice? I don't know. The structures of parliament that have been set up to determine that are the ones that must decide that. It cannot be a thumbs up by myself, my Honorable Malema, or anybody in parliament. It can't be. It's not possible. All right, lovely stuff. And I suppose the big message coming out there that whatever discussions need to be made around such issues need to be done in a formal way that does not bring the National Assembly into a disrepute. Thank you very much. That's the ANC Chief Whip who was uh, speaking to us live from our Paul Elizabeth Studios, Stone Cezanne. We thank you very much for your time.